2020 versus 2016. Just how much has the Tesla Model X improved since 2016? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. The first six Founders Series Model Xs were delivered at a market launch event in Fremont on September 29th, 2015. For the full year 2015, just around 206 Model Xs were delivered, and in 2016, they actually delivered over 18,000 of the Model Xs. Since Tesla did not deliver very many of the 2015 models, I chose to use the 2016 model for this comparison. First of all, let's look at some model changes since 2016. At different times throughout 2016, there were five different variants of the Model X that could be purchased. The 60D, which was a software locked version of the 75 kilowatt battery 75D. You could also purchase, of course, the 75D, the 90D, the Performance P90D, or the Performance 100D was later introduced. The 60D started at $74,000 and got a range of 200 miles, and the longest range variant that was offered in 2016 was of course the P100D, which had a range of 289 miles and a price of $135,500. If you chose ludicrous mode for either the P90D or the P100D, that added an additional $20,000 to the price. Here we are in 2020, and there are actually only two variants of the Model X that can be purchased, the Long Range Plus model and the Performance model. Both feature a 100 kilowatt hour battery, and there is a range of 305 miles for the Performance variant and 351 miles for the Long Range Plus variant. The Long Range Plus model is $84,990, and the Performance model is $104,990. If you purchase the Performance model, Ludicrous mode is now standard, so you don't have to pay extra for that any longer. Now let's talk about the Raven upgrade that occurred in 2019. This Raven upgrade included replacing the front motor of the Model X to a Model 3 permanent magnet motor to add more efficiency and range. They also added a better air suspension system. Here's a quote from Tesla that describes the new suspension. We've also upgraded our air suspension system for the Model S and Model X with fully adaptive dampening giving it the ultra cushioned feel when cruising on the highway or using autopilot, and a responsive, exhilarating confidence during dynamic driving. Now let's go over some of the performance differences between the 2016 and 2020 Model Xs. In 2016, before Tesla released the P100D, the P90D with ludicrous mode could go 0-60 to 60 in as little as 3.2 seconds. Once they released the P100D with Ludicrous, that model could go from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Here we are in 2020 and the performance model can now go 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds and has an improved top speed of 163 miles per hour. Even the Long Range Plus model is faster than the old 90D used to be, going 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds versus the 2016 90D which had a 0 to 60 time of 4.8 seconds. Also, thanks to a later software update, the Model X 75D 0 to 60 time was able to be reduced down to 4.9 seconds. Tesla has also made some efficiency improvements since 2016. According to fueleconomy.gov, if you take a look at the 2016 Tesla Model X 90D, that model took 37 kilowatt hours of battery capacity to go 100 miles. It also had an official range of 257 miles, according to the EPA. Earlier this year, before Tesla switched over to the Long Range Plus model, the Long Range version had a range of 328 miles and the efficiency improved to only needing 35 kilowatt hours of battery capacity to go 100 miles. The new Long Range Plus model that Tesla recently rolled out now has a range of 351 miles, all achieved with the same 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. Tesla has increased the efficiency of their vehicle quite a bit since 2016. Now I'd like to talk about some interior changes that have happened over the years. When choosing the color of your seats in 2016, Tesla gave you three choices. You could either choose the vegan white option, or if you chose real leather, you could choose the black or the tan interior. In 2020, you also have three choices, but the tan has been replaced with a cream, and all three options are now vegan. No leather is available in the Tesla Model X. In 2016, the six seat and seven seat configuration of your Tesla did not have a folding middle row. 
It was connected to a monopost design that could scoot forward and lean, but not actually fold flat. In 2017, Tesla added a seven seat configuration that did actually have a fold flat middle row. And with this, they also added a five seat configuration, which also had that folding row. When Tesla released this folding flat version of their middle row, this allowed the Model X to increase cargo space from 77 cubic feet to 88 cubic feet in the current models. Another change that Model X drivers have noted is that the Model X interior has become a lot quieter since the early models. Now let's talk about some exterior changes that have happened over the years. In 2016, Tesla offered an active spoiler for the performance models. In 2020, all the models have a fixed spoiler that does not adjust. In 2016, Tesla offered four wheel choices for the Model X. In 2020, there are three different choices. In 2016, Tesla offered nine different paint color choices, and here we are in 2020, and Tesla only offers five paint choices. Tesla also added extra sensors to the Falcon Wing doors so that they would not try to close when something was blocking its way. The old design, before Tesla added these new sensors, required a little bit of resistance from the door before it would stop shutting. With the new sensors, the doors simply will not start shutting if there is something blocking its way. Tesla also improved the button that was on the B pillar in the Model X to open and close the Falcon Wing doors. You can see there the switch in 2016, which was prone to breaking, and you can see the improved version, which is a lot easier to use and is a lot more durable. Now I'd like to talk about some of the features that are now standard on the Model X that you had to pay extra for in 2016. In 2016, you had to pay extra for these features. The smart air suspension, cold weather package, premium audio, the true HEPA filtration including bioweapon defense mode, the towing package. These features are all now included in every 2020 Model X. Now let's talk about some of the software and hardware changes since 2016. So one of the big changes is of course the main control unit or the MCU. In 2016, the Teslas had what they called MCU-1. Around March or April of 2018, Tesla switched over to an upgraded MCU-2 in the Model X and of course the rest of their vehicles. This new MCU-2 has a more powerful Intel Atom processor, which allows for a faster and smoother user interface. MCU2 has an improved web browser. It allows you to run features like Tesla Arcade, Tesla Theater, Karaoke, and Tracks. There have also been a number of autopilot hardware changes since the first Model Xs were released. Up until October of 2016, Tesla vehicles had autopilot hardware version 1.0. Sometime around October of 2016, Tesla switched over to Autopilot Hardware 2.0 with NVIDIA processors. In August of 2017, Tesla switched over to Autopilot Hardware version 2.5, which was very similar to 2.0, but Tesla added redundancy. Of course, the big change happened in April of 2019 when Tesla revealed their Autopilot Hardware 3.0, which is Tesla's in-house designed full self-driving computer and is the computer that is going to be required for full self-driving once that software is made available. I did a full video talking about autopilot changes over the years, but here's a quick chart just to show you the processing speed differences between Autopilot version 1 and Autopilot version 3.0. You can see there that Autopilot 1.0 was able to process 36 frames per second, whereas Autopilot version 3.0 is able to process 2300 frames per second. The Terra operations per second of version 1.0 was just 0.256, whereas that same number for version 3.0 is 144 Terra operations per second. With the evolution of the Autopilot hardware over the years, there have also been a number of sensor changes. As you can see from this chart, the early 2016 models through October of 2016 would have had version 1.0 of this hardware. Autopilot version 1 only had one front-facing camera that was used for Autopilot. For the current Autopilot hardware version 3.0, Tesla now has eight different cameras which give a 360 degree view for the Autopilot system and they have since improved the front-facing radar and they also improved the ultrasonic sensors as well. Here are some full self-driving features that were not available in 2016, but now are available. 
navigate on autopilot, which allows your car to automatically drive from highway on-ramp to off-ramp, including interchanges and overtaking slower cars. Auto lane changes, where your car can automatically change lanes while driving on the highway. And Smart Summon allows your parked car to come find you anywhere in a parking lot. Now let's talk about some of the notable software updates that have occurred since 2016. I obviously can't take the time to mention every software update that has happened since 2016, but here are some of the key notable ones that have happened. Tesla has added entertainment features like Spotify, Tesla Cinema, Tesla Arcade, and Karaoke. They have also added security features like Sentry Mode and Dash Cam. Dog Mode was made available to keep your animals safe. They added Smart Summon and Navigate on Autopilot. Tesla now allows voice commands to control many of the features within your car. They also added messaging features, which allows your Tesla to read and respond to text messages hands-free. And they also added camp mode, which is very useful as well. Now it's important to note that these software updates were pushed out to the Tesla fleet. As long as you had the hardware necessary installed in your Tesla, you were able to get these upgrades, even if you had an older model. One last thing that I'd like to mention is that Tesla has actually improved the battery chemistry over the years of their 18650 cells found in the Model S and the Model X. There have been several people online that track this and they have found different versions of the Tesla batteries in these vehicles. Tesla has also mentioned several times that they have improved the chemistry of these batteries. As you can see, the Tesla Model X has improved quite a bit over the years. Tesla is constantly improving their vehicles, and it will be exciting to see what happens in the coming years. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you would like to support this channel and help me make more content in the future, please check out the Patreon link in the description. If you did enjoy the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find the video as well. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Thank you so much.